Welcome. Have your watch ready because I want to show you how rapidly a customer can set up Microsoft Dynamics NAV with their existing master customer data and then post an invoice and finally run out-of-the-box reports. For this, we will use the wizard-driven questionnaire, the standard data packages that enable rapid deployment and as you will see, this role is solved in accelerated time and reduced costs. Rapid Start Services for Microsoft Dynamics NAV also contains more advanced functionalities to cater for the setup of any company-specific need. However, in this video, we'll concentrate on a very simple setup. Ready, set, go, start your clock. So the first thing you see here is the Rapid Start Services Role Center. From that, I start the Rapid Start Wizard, and the first thing it'll ask me is for company-specific information. And in this case, it asks me for the company name, I'll also have the possibility to load my company logo that can be used for printing external documents. I'll finalize the setup and key in my address as well here and basically just fill out the fields that are necessary to get started with my business, including my VAT registration number here. Once I've completed this, I collapse this part of the wizard, I open the next part. In this case, it's my communication details. I'll key in my phone number and I will key in email address and homepage and so on. Now I collapse that as well and go to the payment details and I will key in information that is also essential for me to run my business and that is information about my bank including the name of the bank and also the bank account number. So I'll just key that in here as well. Once I've done that I'll go back, I'll collapse this part as well and I will go and select a package to be loaded. So in this case, I will select a data package and I will open that in order to import it. But wait a minute, a package, what is that? A setup data package basically is a number of pre-saved data for 81 tables. Generic data, which includes which currency code, postal codes, countries, charts of accounts, payment terms, posting groups, and so on. So basically data that is already coming with Microsoft Dynamics NAV so each customer does not need to sit and key that in. Once that package is imported or selected it, we will select here, apply data, and it will start applying that into Microsoft Dynamics NAV. And we will take a look at the time because there's a lot of data, but you can see here 81 tables were basically updated with data. So the next thing I want to do, I want to go to my configuration worksheet and see the different tables to see how much data there is. I could, for example, in this case, click on Customer. I can see in the right-hand side that there are no data. So what I do, I go and I select an Excel file. I had an entry accounting system and I prepared an Excel file with the customer data from there. So when I've selected that, I import it. And as you can see here in the right-hand side, now 15 customers are imported directly into NAV. The next thing I can do before I load these 15 customers, I can review them. I can see what kind of data will go into NAV. In this case, I will just update the address for the Canon Group because I know it's an avenue they're on, so I can even edit before I load it into NAV. What I will do next, I will then say I want to apply that customer data into the real production system. It does that, and now I'm basically ready to use Microsoft Dynamics NAV. The next thing I will do, I will go and just have a look at how does the data look inside the database. I can even see that right now. So here I can see the customers. They are already inside Microsoft Dynamics NAV. It basically shows it on a customer list. The next thing I do, I go back to my wizard because now I loaded both customer data and standard configuration data. And I select what profile do I want to start Microsoft Dynamics NAV with next time I start it up. I previously had the role center for the rapid start services. Now I want to close Microsoft Dynamics NAV. I do that and I open it up again. And as I selected that I wanted to start as the small business president, it opens up that role center. As you can see here, it's completely changed. The next thing I want to do, I want to create a sales order just to test right now that this works, that my setup works. And basically I have got an order already 
And in this case, I want to go and select a general ledger account. So I select a general ledger account for some office supplies I want to invoice. So I will select that. So I'll basically just search for that. Office supplies here. Key that in on my invoice. I will go and put in the quantity. I can do that already here and I will put in my price. Once I've done that, I will go and say I would like to post this sales order, basically ship and invoice it. And as you can see, Microsoft Dynamics NAV posts and ships it. So what I will do, I will go to the posted documents and I will see the posted sales invoice. You can see it here and I will open that one up and let's just try this. Let's go and print or at least preview an invoice. And as you can see here, it has calculated the VAT. Everything is basically according to my generic setup that I also imported from the setup data packages. So this is the way to quickly set up Microsoft Dynamics NAV. The next thing I want to do after I've done this, I also want to run some reports. So in this case, I'll switch over to the Jet Reports Express Report Player. And as you can see here with that report player, I can, out of the box, once I've installed this, scroll through a number of reports that run directly on Microsoft Dynamics NAV. So again, no additional setup to make this work. I basically just apply the Jet Reports Express Report to Microsoft Dynamics NAV installations. And if I click on the sales dashboard report, as you will see here, I can go in and I can use the power pivot capabilities that are in these Excel files to filter. In this case, I filter on the item descriptions to see the different statistics or the salesperson. I can even do it on the different countries, domestic, EU, and so on, in this case for this report. There are also a number of other reports coming with Jet Reports Express. There is a top vendors report. There is a top items by sales volume. Again, using all the features of Microsoft Excel, also really to show and get an overview of the business. So with this said, this was an overview of Rapid Start services from Microsoft Dynamics NAV. You saw the wizard-driven questionnaire. You saw the standard data packages and the master data import. It also comes with more, as we told in the beginning. It comes with project management, the possibility to extend the data packages, and also the possibility to run both on-premise and cloud. So, Rapid Start Services from Microsoft Dynamics NAV gives you accelerated deployment time and improved quality, better control and reduced costs. Thank you for watching this video.